Hey gang, WWE Backlash is done, <laughs> and uh, well, there were some pretty surprising endings in this one, and uh, some matches that I have to say in all honesty, I think they were put in the wrong places, but let's get the uh, results and everything taken care of. Of course, the uh, pre-match show, uh, Ty Dillinger defeated Aiden English. Uh, I think in that one, in all honesty, that one should have really went to the main roster because I think if you've had a... Um, or not the main roster, sorry, um, the main show. Uh, because if you... If you've had a rivalry going on for maybe more than, I don't know, say two or three weeks, i say put it on the pay-per-view. And um, it, would, it would only make a little bit of sense. So, yeah. And the opening match at Backlash, I can't believe I'm saying this, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Dolph Ziggler. That's a shock right there. Not not because not because not because uh, Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Dolph Ziggler. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try and tell you why here in a minute. Uh, the Usos kept the tag titles from Brizongo. Not a big surprise there, honestly. <laughs> uh, Sami Zayn defeated Baron Corbin. Uh, really, a match that I think could have really gone either way, but would have had, would it have been any kind of an impact on on either wrestler? Probably not. Uh, Naomi, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch defeated Natalia, Carmella, and Tamina Snuka. Um, eh, I guess. Uh, uh, the, the outcome was, was not quite what I was expecting, I'll say that much, because it, it, it almost seemed like that uh, they were going to try and make this whole thing all about Charlotte recently turning face, and now she's... You know, now we're, now we're supposed to accept her as, you know, a face and everything like that. And, but it but actually turned out uh, Becky Lynch wound up getting the victory, which, you know, good ending. Uh, Kevin Owens keeps the U.S. title from AJ Styles by way of a countout. Everybody pretty much knew Kevin Owens was going to find a way to keep the, keep the U.S. title. And uh, I really hope this rivalry sticks around for a little bit, and uh, hopefully it's going to get a little bit better. Um, Luke Harper defeated Eric Rowan. I mean, my God, this is this is pretty much what you call the semi-main event, and that's really really sad. And I don't think a match. I, I think this match lasted maybe like seven minutes. It's like, wow, really? So something they threw in together last minute, and it's pretty much the semi-main event. And uh, well, I gotta say the big, biggest surprise of them all: Jinder Mahal defeated Randy Orton to win the WWE Championship. I I'm shocked by that. But then again, I'm kind of not because, you know, Randy Orton's been WWE champion like 10 times, something like that. You know, a WWE champion, world's champion, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, <laughs> um, and um, and, I, and I, watched a, I watched a video on here the other day. I think it was for uh, one of the channels I'm going to give a shout out to. Uh, I think it was uh, WrestleMania who was giving his picks for this. And he picked Jinder Mahal to defeat Randy Orton because basically uh, the thing is, you know, Jinder Mahal's character is is India, is is from India. Of course, Jinder Mahal is supposed to be really Canadian, so you know. Um, so basically, it's like Vince just said, you know what, we got this guy playing, you know, somebody from India. Uh, we give him the championship that might make us some business there in India. Kind of like how they try, try to do with Great Khali, but I think Jinder Mahal has a little bit more more athletic, athletic, uh, athleticism and uh, a little bit more of a, more of a better moveset than the Great Khali. Plus, maybe it's me, but I think it's kind of on something because... Yeah, that guy has some serious back knee. <laughs> uh, the next one coming up is Extreme Rules, and I don't know if I'm... I'm really not looking forward to that one so far. It's uh, A couple of matches look all right, but most of, but most of the lineup looks just pretty bad. Um, so hopefully I'm going to do a, a one for that one. Uh, they keep putting on 
worse and worse matches. I'm just, I don't know. I'm gonna try. I will try. <laughs> I'll do it because you, because you know, I like doing shoutouts for channels that I uh, hope you guys go subscribe to. Uh, ultimately, overall, I, I would have to say this was probably not that bad of a pay-per-view. Um, some matches were pretty much the throwaway matches. Um, the lineup I would have done it would be, I probably would have put Luke Harper and Eric Rowan out the, on the um, on the pre-show. Uh, I don't know, probably make it, probably make the uh, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin the opening match. Uh, then uh, Ty Dillinger and Aiden English. And then, the, and then uh, the Six Divas tag match. And then the tag titles match. And kind of have a triple main event. Um, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler. Then Kevin Owens, AJ Styles for the U.S. title. And, of course, Randy Orton and um, uh, Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship. How would you guys have put the pay-per-view together if you had a chance to do that? Love to hear from you guys in the comments below. What did you think of Backlash? What would you rate it out of 10 or on a, on a school grade or whatever you want to do? Uh, love to hear from you guys in the comments below. And, of course, got a ton of shout-outs to send out to some guys that I really hope some and some channels I really hope you guys will go check out and subscribe to. And uh, one of these, I think, will be doing a Backlash um, thoughts video. He, he did one last month for uh, Payback. So maybe he'll do one for Backlash. Uh, but here you guys go. Um, <laughs> so I hope you guys will go check these channels out and subscribe to them. Please do. Please go check out Will's World, Danny Nightmare, Brett Robb, Skin Slip. That's the one I was uh, telling you guys that uh, did the payback picks and uh, results video. Christian Miracle, Rain Q, Gordon Maston, Wrestling with Regret, Matt Jarrishow, One True Fan, Arcadian Vanguard, Slat Rock Wrestling, Wrestle Reel, Controversial Wrestling Shoots, WrestleManiac 1130, NorCal Pro Wrestling, Tomer Hannon 15, Jose M. Garcia, George Redcorn, Mark Boy 316, The Wrestling Collector, Richard Land, Impact Wrestling, Ya Boy Compton, Lee Flix, Colt Cabana, World Famous Flea Market, RF Video One, Hayden Huffman, Trader Jack 641, Jim Cornette's Talking Sense, GFW Wrestling, Ring of Honor Wrestling, WCPW, Title Match Wrestling, Spot Show Wrestling, High Spots, Kayfabe Commentaries, TCW Wrestling Online, What Culture Wrestling, Hockey Mask Guy, Rad Pro Embryonics, Sammy Guevara, and WrestleLamia. So hope you guys go check out those channels and hit that subscribe button on there. And uh, quite, there are quite a few of these that uh, really could use more subscribers, and I really hope you guys go help them out. And, of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. And Extreme Rules coming up next. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to try and do that one. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to do it, definitely. All right, guys. Well, take care of yourselves. God bless you all. Thanks for keeping this channel going and growing. And until next time, as always, stay strong. And rock on.